Hello. Hola, Burrito. Rocco, how'd you get my fucking number? I don't want to talk to you. Too bad, Mix. This line opened up just as soon as Tony took those points. You know, Rock, your guinea ass is lower down this country's ethnic food chain than mine. So don't fucking condescend me. Oh, I got Senora Sensitive here. Hey, look, I respect you, so I'm going to talk straight a second. Tony's pissed a lot of people off. You need to control him. Tony's going to calm down as soon as you stop sending us on suicide missions. Oh, look at my position. Some serious moolah, yos. You think the higher powers are gonna stop expecting envelopes from me because of the homo's midlife crisis? Doctor's notes don't cut it with these people. Be reasonable then, Rock. Chinatown? Bahama Mamas? Those fucking bombs? That's some out-of-control shit, man. No! Tony's some out-of-control shit. Think about what he has got you into. But if you think about it too long, then there might be no getting out of it. Comprende? Not really, bro. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, Mando. I need some hardware. You available? Okay, bro. I'm coming. I know the district attorney, you bastard! You're a dirty Oh, yeah, Mando. Shit. Out the car! Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's a rush driving around with this shit. You just daring people to fuck with you. Wait for this. I appreciate this shit, man. Oye, loco, thanks for coming down here. I'll see you soon. Bye, motherfucker. Yeah, let's go to metal. Here we are. Thank you very much.
Yo, Mr. Bulgari here? I don't care hey. if he does want to sell. I want to buy. How much would you offer the last time? Double it. Offer 20 million, and then we see if it is not for sale. If this painting is not hanging on my wall, your hat will be. Okay? Think about that. You want I should pay visit to his children at their school? Not yet. I think there's always a price in this city. Oh, Louis, excuse us. We have been rude. Don't worry about it, man. I like the setup here. These guitars are all collector's items. Celebrity rock memorabilia. Okay, man, good for you. Got a nice place here, Mr. B. That is piece of shit. I bought it for my sister. Hey, you bring me to this fucking country and you keep me in an ugly cage. No one on TV lives in fucking Duke. Then you come and move all my stuff into hallway and fill place with fucking guitars. Shut up, bitch! Take your pills! A friend of mine is here! Ha! You don't have any friends. You don't even have a business here. You are nothing in this My country. sister. She's still getting adjusted. We all are. So how can I help you? Fuck you, Ray. You have ruined my life! Yes! Yes! <sighs> a difficult situation. It seems I'm being investigated by the National Office of Security Enforcement. There is a particular unit that has a hard on for me. And why? Because Mark Yashwili won't sell me the rampage. You'll get rid of them. I will own this fucking team. Hey, the problem ain't just gonna disappear over here if we kill some crooked cops. Leave the strategizing to me. If the money tells you to cut your fucking legs off, you'll do it. Because the money is better than a fucking leg. The money is making the plans. That's the American way. All right, man. Thank you. I like you. I make you rich. I make you man. Maybe I'll make you a man with one leg, but <laughs> I'll make you a rich man with one leg. There is this team tracing a cow mine. Take out the whole team. No exceptions. Okay, man, if that's what the money wants. You're a bright guy, Luis. I still like you. You made a good choice coming here. Fag man, no good. Go! Roll the bitch! Ting! 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 Go to the garage of Torpa Street. Turn right. Here, you will need these sticky bombs for the party. I don't need no bombs, bro. But I will need one of them MGs if I'm gonna take on the noose. It's good to have you with us, Luis. Yeah? Yes. It must be nice for you to get out from the other big party. I don't know what you're implying, bro. Don't need me a partner. I got a stake in the Enterprise. <laughs> a stake? Sure. You still take orders from him, don't you? You can up your shit. Lloyd, it could be much more than that. Unless you enjoy working for such a man, partner or whatever you call it. Really, bro? I don't know. When I was left to my own devices, I got locked up. At least with Tony's guidance, I ain't doing time. Perhaps. For now, perhaps. But do you think you're achieving everything you could? A man with your talents, in your condition, you could have anything you want. I didn't get to where I am without being able to see the worth of man. That's real flattering, Mr. Bulgari. But whatever it is you're offering, I'm gonna have to decline. Me and Tony's is a business relationship. He gets his kicks elsewhere, but he's been a good boss to me, and a good guy. Help me out. I'm not a fucking faggot! Whatever you say, bro. What are you talking about? I was saying that I may be interested in investing in your potential. Potential as what? As a business. This is not I'm looking shit. for someone here in Liberty City with the correct relationship. 
I already got one employer. Like I said, he's been good to me. Of course! But what is he? He is a drug addict. A madman. You are useful to him, but you think that is all he wants from you? <laughs> when some new muscle-bound pretty boy comes along, he will forget about you and your precious stake in the Tony Prince Empire. Whatever, bro. Can we talk about something else? What am I doing here? You are helping me with my business. This don't seem like legitimate business to me, man. Nothing can be achieved here in Liberty City with actual pigs rooting through my affairs. For anything to happen, they must be eliminated. Okay, man. You really can't buy these people off? Sometimes a price is more effective if paid out of lead, not gold. This is the first lesson I will give you. Okay. Hey, man, what's up? What do you mean, what's up? Where are you? Look, man, I, I'm taking care of some personal business. I'll come see you later, okay? I'm cracking up here, Luis. Hurry the fuck up! How long are you gonna be? I don't know, man. I, I, I gotta go. Your master calls? Yeah, man. I see. And does he know that you are here with us? No. Interesting. I guess so. Go down into the garage. Publica over there. Place a bomb out of sight. We will hide here. Well done. That will be a fun trick for that. These guys are all crooked, huh? Marty has this in his pockets. This news team is in charge of half the drugs running in the city. Do not let your conscience worry you. Dimmer, bro. You ain't talking much. You nervous? Fuck you. Be quiet. They are here. Target sighted. Let's finish this and get payment from Ashley. Detonate when they come to the car, okay? Go, 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 go! We're Go, go! 
for my sister Halls. Excellent, excellent, Mosker Zakras. I still have smell of meat in nose. Bro, it's true. You are the one who blew them up. That you did, Lewis. A serviceable job. Boss competent. How'd I get myself into this shit, man? You didn't get yourself into this? I choose you. I pick you out because I see potential in you. You're lucky to be here. Yeah, great, thanks. But if you need more cops taken out, crooked or otherwise, you ain't choosing me. Look at this. The sensitive, modern American man. You need to go home and exfoliate your bolts. May as well cut them off. What the fuck is this? I don't like killing government agents, so I ain't got no balls. You're okay, calm down. We got no more law enforcement to expand. For now. Those who are the only guys lucky ahead of us. You think he will sell? He has no choice but to sell. They have taken away his protection. It's that simple, is it? It should be. Maki is a witling. He lives here in exile, like all cowards. But he has been here for a long time, so he has more connections that others of us have not been able to acquire. This little trip should have severed the good deals of those connections and will give others involved a pause before they continue their association. Okay. Perhaps I will buy clubs of you as well. You sell them to me? Them clubs is levers to the max already, man. I don't know if there's anything left to sell. I don't care about other investors. They will forget about debts if I'm involved. Some of these investors aren't the type to go away. They aren't the type to pay off either. Anyway, it's not my place to sell them. I have a stake, but Tony's got the controlling share. Ha! Ha! Of course! Tony pulls the string and the little puppet man bends for him. Let me know when Tony next has hand up your ass and when Triloquiz Danny can talk. Fuck, man. What's wrong with you? Your stake is bullshit. You think you run the club, but you are still just security. You are Tony's gimp, and you won't admit it. It's not like that. This what you want to do your whole life? No, but seriously, bro. I have opportunities for you. Think about them. Think about what I said to you. The offer will not be fair forever. Okay, I will. Send my regards to Big Tony. In 20 yards, turn right. You have arrived. Yo, T. Where have you been? I got here as soon as I could, bro. Oh, man, Louise Gracie. Louise Gracie. What about Gracie? They got Gracie. She's gone. Evan's dead. Now Gracie. Fuck Evan. Who's got Gracie? I, I don't know. So what are you talking about, bro? Where is she? I, I, some guy's at war with her father, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Gracie's pretty tough. She's a princess. She's a tough princess. Oh, they fucking hurt her. Yeah, they'll have you, me, and my family to deal with. <laughs> you never liked her. You never did. You never liked anyone. That's not true. I like her. No, you didn't. She's my favorite go -Kor. Oh, and what makes you so good, huh? If it wasn't for me, you'd be selling dime bags on a street corner. I made you. Yeah, and she and Evan made you into a junkie, okay? I mean, she's not a bad person. Okay, she's not a murdering, greedy psychopath like me. She's so hard. I don't know if you can get past the accent, okay? But she made you into a useless old queen to act out on blowing pills to notice his business is going to shit. Oh, here we go, huh? Here we fucking go, huh? Oh, I see it in your eyes. You're embarrassing me. You see me and think, oh, this is it. This is the moment to put me down. This is the moment when the apprentice takes over, huh? Oh, man. You think I'm done? 
You're not so fucking tough, Luis. And you're not so smart, you dumb junkie. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, Luis. Oh, come on, Tony. Chill out. Oh. Lord, no. You're right. You're right. You're not the one with the problem. I am. <laughs> Tony, what the fuck are you doing? No, I'm holding you back. I see that now. I see that now. You're the closest thing I've had to a son. I'm sorry, Luis. I love you. Tony. Goodbye. Tony, c c come on, man. Goodbye. I love you. Shit. Shit. Fuck! Ah, ah. What the fuck is wrong with you, uh, you dumb prick? Huh? Get up! Get up so I can kill you myself! Get up! Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, sh I just couldn't take it anymore. Uh. Come on. Get up. Uh. Get up, you old bastard. Oh. Huh? Let's, go, let's go find Gracie, okay? Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, Louise. The Ancelotti said I should use their chopper. It's at the heliport on top of the entrance of the booth tunnel. What are we gonna do with a chopper? What do you think we're doing on this Audi? We're looking for Gracie. You got any ideas where we might start doing that? It's a big city, though. I may be semi-suicidal, but I'm not completely stupid, Luis. You ain't even semi-suicidal, thing. You're just overdramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if that gun was just a movie prop. We've been in enough shit recently for me to carry something a little bit more dangerous than a prop gun. You think you'd know enough with all the shit we've been in to take the safety off our gun before you use it? Fair point. I'll get a post-it note for the next time. Disengage before a suicide attempt. Self-indulgent cry for help, Marie. Okay. I need your help, Luis. You're all I've got left. You happy now? I said it. Well done. You win, jackass. Okay, bro. Where are we looking for this girl? There's some lowlifes and dukes who might be involved. Losers even by current mob standards, which is saying something. You from dukes, ain't you? I try to forget about that. Okay, so we head over there and do what? Land on the roof and ask them where they got Gracie? We just got to follow them. See if they take us anywhere interesting. Okay, bro. Let's hope for the best. Who knows what they could have done to that girl? She could be dead at the bottom of the West River now. Or she could be driving some son of a bitch kidnapper Gracie. I wouldn't waste that nasal whining voice on the worst guy out there. Gracie's got my backing over some chump hook from Dukes. You're right, that could be the smart pet. Her old man said something interesting to me, by the way. Oh yeah? What'd he say? That he's blaming us for this whole thing. Either we get her back, or we're dead. That's definitely interesting. How the fuck did he get that in his head? I barely know the girl. Here's the Ancelotti chopper. Let's not screw it up as well. Come on, hurry up, man! Take us over to Cerveza Heights. Their house is over there. So, this isn't about Gracie? It's about saving our own asses? Yes, this is a purely selfish act. Are you happy now? Yeah. Strangely, I am. Now that I've realized I'm being blackmailed into doing this, it's become a lot clearer. Great. How are we gonna get out of this, Tom? What? All this shit piling down on top of us. How are we gonna get out? Have we got a plan? I don't know. We could play the lottery, start a little Ponzi scheme, buy some cheap diamonds and try to sell them at a profit. Oh, wait. We've tried that, and it's not going so well. Fair enough. You could marry a billionaires. That might get us out of our problems. Oh, yeah. I've already been pimped off once, T. And I nearly got killed because of it. I'm serious, Lou. Most of the girls in the city have fallen in love with you at least once. How come you can't manage to find a rich one? That's the house up there. I think that's their car, Lou. The red one. Let's follow it. Going. I don't know where he's going, you idiot. That's why we're following him. Okay, all right. But which way do you think he's heading? West. I can see he's going west. Where west? There's a lot of shit west of Dukes. Could be Algonquin. Could head all the way over to Alden. He 
might not be going west at all. Might be heading over to the Eastboro Bridge so he can get himself up to Bohem. Fuck! Might just be heading down the block for a slice of pie. Shit! Okay, okay, I take your point. If you see him stopping, let me know. You'll see him stopping too, bro. You ain't going to sleep on me, are you? You think I could go to sleep at a moment like this? Why? You ain't got your pills? No, I don't actually. I didn't even take an anti-anxiety, and you know how I feel about flying. You'll throw a guy out of chopper, but you won't go for a ride in one? You should have shared your anti-anxiety pills with the celebrinator. No amount of pills would prepare you for that. Don't fuck with the Thorny Prince Empire, baby. That's what's up. Public relations at its finest. If we could throw every fucking blogger out of chopper, bro, keep them fools in line. We could start an outsourcing company. We'd be rich overnight. Strangely enough, that's exactly what we need to be. Stop driving suspiciously, Lou. He'll get wise to us. Get wise? What are we, in some gumshoe novel now? I'm driving as unsuspiciously as you can when your boss only forked out for a weekend helicopter course. If he's getting wise, it's because you're a tight ass. You being anti-Semitic now? Nice. Next you'll call me a fed. Oh, yeah. Play the minority card. Very clever. Unfortunately, I'm a minority too, so fuck you. Cutting back on himself. I thought he was heading west. Well, now he's heading east. We won't lose him, man. We're cool. Come on, you dumb dukes. Fuck. Take us to her. You yell loud enough, he might just hear you. Maybe if we concentrate hard enough, we can will him to go there. I thought you got over that spiritual shit when you stopped dating the yoga instructor. There are things that stick with you forever. Like the fact that he could get his ankles around his ears and he ate a lot of monk beans. That image is gonna stick with me. Jesus. Where are these guys from? Other than Dukes, I mean. They're an Irish operation headed by this maniac called Gerald McCreary. He's doing time at Alderney State. Irish like those guys who robbed our bank? They could be the same ones that held me hostage. Stranger things have happened. What would they need a mob boss's daughter for when they got all the bank's money? How the fuck do I know? I guess greed is a powerful motivator. I got an idea. Great! What is it? We stop that bus car, we rig his balls to the battery. By the time he smells them cooking, we'll know exactly where Gracie's at. This is a great bit of improvisation, Lou. But I think we should just follow him. Leave the torch to professionals, people in government. Look, he's going through the booth tunnel. I ain't going in there, T. You think I want you to kill us? Go over and meet him where he comes out. Over by where we pick this shopper up. Okay, boss. They got Gracie? Something to do with that pink piece of shit car she had. They think the guy pretended he wanted to buy it. She should have got suspicious the second anyone expressed interest in that thing. Actually, wait, I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me gay Tony? In that case, you probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit, you cliche-loving moron. There was that one marble thing you bought. That was art. Yeah, giant, fainty, penis-shaped art. At least you made a profit on it. Those were the days. He's going in the parking lot. What's going on? I don't know. Shit. She could be in the trunk of a car in there. She could be in the trunk of the red piece of shit we're following. They would have checked that. Let's see if he comes out. Somewhere, at least. What street is that? I don't know Alden any well, bro, but I think the big one's Sacramento. Call it in. Let's head back to the helipad. You gonna call him? I'm texting. Look at you, bro. What? Down with the kids. You work in the business, Lou. You should know that club promoters are the first to master all new forms of communication. Always find a new way of profiting. 
If we pull this off, we'll profit. We'll get the key. Okay, man. Let me know if they find Grayson. I hope for our sake they do. See you soon, partner.